Holiday entertaining is in full swing and for some ideas on which wines pair best with your holiday meals we've come to Tower Wine and Spirits here on Piedmont. I'm with John O'Brien and you have one of my favorites, a Pinot. You have an alternative. I do. Actually it's not an alternative so much as it is the original. Uh, Pinot Noir, and most people know from California and Oregon, but Pinot Noir originated in France huh. and some of the best Pinots are still from France. In fact if you see a red wine that says Burgundy or Bourgogne on it, it's 100% Pinot Noir by law. And the Pinot Noirs from France tend to be lighter and drier uh, than Pinot Noirs from America and lower in alcohol. So lighter and drier, what would that pair well with? Uh, they tend to pair well with poultry, turkey, chicken, also heavy fish, salmon, swordfish. Mm. Excellent. One of the, the newest trends in white wine are Chardonnay alternatives. Mm. And one of those Chardonnay alternatives is Pinot Grigio. Oh. People walk in the door, you give them a glass of wine, and Pinot Grigio is a perfect uh, aperitif and appetizer wine. Well, next is red blends. Now, Syrah gives the wine body and richness, and they tend to pair, uh, makes the wine pair very well with red meats, mm. uh, grilled meats. If you, with this warm weather, if you're uh, grilling outside, this will stand up to virtually anything on the grill, I'd say. These are Sauvignon Blancs. Now, if you have spicy food, pungent food, uh, Thai food, Asian food, this will stand up to anything. Uh, also, goat cheese or pungent cheeses, extremely. Uh, goes extremely well in tomatoes. Anything with high acid. It's interesting with wine that high acid wines like Sauvignon Blanc go very well with high acid foods. You put a high acid wine, high acid food together, they both taste less acidic. Uh, and everyone knows about champagne. But uh, what is up and coming, the trend is now Prosecco. Now Prosecco is from Italy. If you drink champagne and you drink or Prosecco before dinner and you're not hungry, you're not human. I think a big question a lot of people have is how much money am I going to have to spend to get a good bottle of wine? Uh, interestingly enough, uh, looking at the Pinot Noirs, the American Pinot Noirs are not uh, cheaper than the French. In this case, this is $25, this is $17. So French wines uh, can actually be cheaper than American. Uh, now these two Italians are in the price range of most Pinot Grigios. This is $9, this is $12. And that's where most Pinot Grigios lie. Mm -hmm. Now these blends, these red blends, are uh, in the mid-teens. This is $12, this is $15, but blends can be anywhere. I, th I chose these especially because they're good values. Mm -hmm. Now here's a case again where the French wine is a lot less than the New World wine. The New World wine, the uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, is $26. The White Bordeaux is only $13, so it's half the price. Now Champagne, as you would expect, is a lot more money than, than the corresponding Prosecco. That champagne is $40 a bottle, although we have a good sale on it uh, going into the holidays. I think we're, we're after a discount on a full case, we're doing $33 or $34. But the Prosecco is $13. Mm. So uh, it's a great lower price alternative uh, to champagne. Mm. Great ideas on pairing wine with your holiday meal. John O'Brien, thank you so much. You're very welcome. For Better Mornings, I'm Karina Allen.